this week on L.A. Noir. After a hard week of beat cop work, Cole Phelps is ready to crack the big case. The murder of Mr. Everett Gage. <laughs> Number one suspect is a Mr. Edgar Kalu, a loco jewelry shop owner and all-round shifty bastard. Will Cole achieve justice? Let's find out right now. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Right, Bodgers, let's talk about that shooting. Do you deny it, pal? I'll back honor ye. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. What a load of shite that is, pal. Do you think I can't smell the absolute reeking stench of piss? Coming after you! Are you actually denying that that pistol was yours? I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Well, this baldy bastard says you are acting proper shifty, pal. It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. The nebishes? What kind of patter is that, mate? Do you want slapped? Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Why is that relevant? Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, what? and I guess you're the one of them. What? Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's use this intuition, right? Ask the community? Eh? No, no, it's not. Ah, uh, well, is it doubt? Every other time, doubt's been wrong. <laughs> You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Oh. Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's slap. in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. This and that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years! Mr. Kalu, I respectfully announce that you have fucked it, wee man. And you're gone to the pokey. Get it up ye, catch ye after. <laughs> Great pal Walliper, are you telling me everything? What a dick! Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. Mm. A shining, honest face the public can admire. And that's what I, I am. I a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Yeah, don't touch me, mate. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needy. Ah, ha Oh, Phelps gone to the big time. Get it up, you lady. Perfection. The driver's seat. Brought to you by Snickers. Get some nuts. Mm. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner. Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along with mine. I'm here to learn, Detective. Huh? <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope feeds. Busting my balls, pal. I'll bust yours for real. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Stop Division me. welcome Watch. for Detective Cole Phelps. Hi, Jills. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. 
If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Uh, yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, I'll have said, yeah. Basket, Michael, what do you bet you? Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right, Ed. I'll get you. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Nice. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the newspaper. Oh, they're all talking me up. Everybody Don't loves the coal man. The, co the coal, the coal train. No, that one's already taken. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now, let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped to the flag. Knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? No, that sounds about right, mate. The Emperor, Hirohito himself, leading the charge against you. I did my part. <laughs> what did you do? Oh. I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. <laughs> You're already. Oh. oh, we got, we got. Claim in progress. Eleven K, go ahead, KGB. Hey, hey, motherfuckers, we're here. Eleven K, a 459 suspect just. Hey, what's happening, hey? Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. This is going to be some stupid shit, isn't it? Oh, no, that's a man with a gun. Okay. This guy looks like a real criminal mastermind and must be stopped. Give it up now! Where are you going, mate? The Phelps Meister's here to make his kill count that little bit higher today. You can be number 49. Out away. Guys, do you not see him coming? Oh. Oh, fuck, he kept running. He kept running. This man has to be stopped. Oh. Right. And he's down. No idea what he was doing, but I know what he's going to be doing from now on. Hey, listen, if he doesn't want to get shot in the face, then maybe he shouldn't have tried to kill me, you know. I mean, I'm driving me, you did. Okay, that was a very strange way to do that. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you stop. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see. Mate, I just, I, this is my second case, Thanks mate. I just, fun. did you know, see what up. happened to that first guy right there? I'm not fucking about today, pal. I'm here to to crack open skulls and take names. I'm Officer Hart. I'm Officer Brain. Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Someone's cobbed the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Doc, detective, fellas. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Did he get put into a blender? What the he's fuck happened the there? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car.
a live hog? Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? I doubt it. No. Right. Let's talk to our guy then. Alright, mate, what's happening? His name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Alright, good man. So what, what were you doing, pal? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anyone else hanging about, eh? I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know this Adrian Black character, pal? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen this motor before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Hey, cheers, pal. What's this? A wallet? Adrian Black's wallet? Why? 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Your license just has a fingerprint on it. Cool. <laughs> and there he is. Happier times, I guess. He looks like that guy from Space Jam. I never remember his name, but you know which one. There's these Gex. Anything else you got lying around here for me? Just have a swatch inside this, eh? Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. That, honestly, right, I'm getting the vibes that this is a guy who's faked his death. The pig carcass receipt and the fact that his wallet and, and his glasses are just there. Like, this is a man, this is planted, man. This guy's trying to get out or something. Paying a bill or something. You had a pack of smokes, I guess, or is this... Nothing significant. Not relevant, no. What about up this ladder? Is this part of it? No. No, I'm getting vibes this man has, uh, is trying to do a runner. All right. Seems like not enough blood for the sheer amount that's inside that car. Brand name might give us something to go on. Insta heat. Right, let's, go and, let's go and talk to the guy again and see if he knows anything else. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, Did Mr. you get rustling about that wallet, mate, when you showed up? Oh, wait, 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 what does that look? Ah, uh, do we go for lie or do we go for doubt? He's giving me that look, man. What, what did you do to that wallet, pal? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Right then, so I, I honestly, I think this guy's faked his death. There's nothing in the wallet, he's probably took all that for himself, of course. The pig carcass receipt, and just a lot of strangeness about it. on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Was it soaking in blood dripping and all that, or was it all dried up and, and just a rank when you found it, pal? Look dry already. Right, cheers, Wilkie boy. We'll get in touch if we need you in the future, right? If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. I can make him drive. No, no, no. I, I am the captain of this ship. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. All units, shots fired, off speeds, help. Chateau and Valencia. Chateau and Valencia. Shots fired. Yeah. Options. Right. Let's go. Could be a car theft. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. Jesus Christ! Don't look Why where the car is, Studdy. Obviously, someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. How so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car, and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, bro. Doesn't add up. No man, this is a faking. I'm telling you, should I be doing this right now? I don't know. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on the guy! Jesus the guy fucking Christ, they don't oil move out of the way! Sirens, everybody! Sirens! Come on! I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. Head under there checking the oil, and the Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> oh, 
Aye. a pointless waste of time. What a great story there. You'll get Kukowski. plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity worth the trap. And who needs the Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Right, he's it's moving! Why leave the sometimes they're no moving, sometimes they are moving. The, car? the evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, fellas. Right. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I, I didn't realise just how far away we were from, from this crime. Right, okay, we're actually getting there now. The map is, is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Right, we're here, hey, don't worry about it. Oh. Shit's getting real. Out of way, you fuckers. Sorry, let K. We'll handle the health call. Go ahead, KGPL. Let's get in now, Bukowski, son. What is going on here? I see you motherfuckers. Come on up here and get us. What is all this? Traffic stop from hell. Probably need to close these guys over. Finds that trunk full of hardware like he did. They're loose. Bullets start flying. And they snatch up the guns from one of the cops. Head to high ground and make their stand. And the officer? Up there. Still alive, we think. Who knows for how long. We'll keep him busy. You can find a way up. Right, how am I gonna... I think I need to take this man out. There you go! Bumper up! Charge! I learned this move from the Japanese! How do I get up there? Is there a fire escape? Is there anything? Look at this, look at this pole! Aha! Right, cool. This is probably not the right way to do this. Since we're on a different building. This guy already knows I'm here, man! What the fuck? There he goes! Yeah. yeah! Cole does it alone once again! Chalk up another, what, four or five guys? I'm back from the war, but really, I'm still in the war! Also notify detective headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. I only got shot, like, five times. There we go! Lovely. And I got an intuition point for doing it. Right, you've got nothing to say now, eh, Bukowski? We've been out for half an hour and I've already solved two crimes and think I've cracked the third as well. What have you done lately, eh? Other than take a giant shite. Scale on down. Oh, wait, I don't know which which way am I going. Can I just go across this? I'm just going to go across it. Right? Yeah. Here we go. We might get there quicker if you yeah. use the side. I use the siren. Mate, I don't need the siren. You see what the siren does? It just makes the AI very confused. I'd rather not use the siren. No, we're not doing that one as well, right, lads? I'm already on a bloody... Surely there are other cops in the city capable of doing that. Aye, aye. We're turning on this man. <laughs> Gotta say, it's a lot easier to get from A to B than it was in Mafia or Mafia 2. Look at it. I'm gonna get these kind of turning circles. Right, we're here, Bukowski son. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Hey, it's the police. Get your ass around here now. What's happening? I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. Foul play is kind of understating it a little bit, eh? I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. All right then. Let's I get a the feeling she's out. not in on it. Come on. 
Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. I hope she, if she does have run order during the search, then maybe she is, but... Uh-huh. We already have train tickets out of here, do we? I'm on to you. ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. There he is. My God. <laughs> Zoomed in there like he was had vicious intent. Don't buy Adrian. I'm stuck a long way without you. I ran back my car. Adrian! Sorry, sorry. Oh, I'll be the glasses at the scene. Kavanaugh's. Kavanaugh's? So who brought this home? Kavanaugh's bar. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address. In stacky, only 82.50 for a boiler. I like how this is just conveniently lying out on the table. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Why is it that all murder victims or murderers have dirty dishes? There must be something to this, I, I swear. Alienist Fontaine provides help to troubled vets. Mentally crippled soldiers find relief in clinical treatment. What? Lie down, make yourself comfortable. What am I looking at? What is this? I can't get him out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I'm going to give you something to calm your nerves. I'm just going to jab you with this random syringe, guy. Are we going to get a flashback inside this flashback? Okay, then. Not sure if he was just injecting people with smack or, or what, but I don't remember those being a thing in this game. Silver polish. But they also took the time to polish a lot of silver for some reason. Is any of this relevant at all? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Well, thanks for letting me know. Right then. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Oops, wrong door. That's the bedroom as well. Is it? I always see this. We've not looked in here. No. Wait, are they sleep they're sleeping in separate, separate bedrooms? Bed separate ah. pictures. What gives here? Yeah, so he's faked his death and they're getting they're splitting up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Who keeps that like a picture of themselves in their bedroom? Or do they have if they had a picture if it was a picture of the other person, then why would they have separate bedrooms in the first place? But who keeps a picture of themselves in their bedroom? Like why do you need that? Just themselves. Right, let's get round the back then, let's see. Any big mounds in the back garden? Wait, I need to build a boiler? I'm not paid for this shit. I'm sure it's this simple to do this. Right, I'll get that on there. Lovely. You're a genius, Cole. Maybe you're in the wrong trade. Instead of fucking about with murders and that, you should just be building boilers, man. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Who steals a pipe off somebody's boiler to, to smash somebody with? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Guy's thinking, oh, I need a murder weapon. Let me just grab a pipe from my own boiler to act as the murder weapon here. Right, can I not get in this shed? The guy's probably hiding in the shed. I'm Are you ready to talk? Detectives. Right, here we go. We found a receipt for a live pig. What is that all about? A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about me Frankie boy, eh? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Mmm, how are you doing? What's the script with a 40 in the bedroom? What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Oh, no, 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 no. There is plenty to tell him, so get it, tell. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. Aye. I've told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? Oh. I've seen the photo frame. 
He thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Oh, we're racing it, boys. We're racing it. Kavanaugh's Bar. Where does Your it? husband frequents Kavanaugh's Bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Mm, well, we just established that. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. But you knew where he was really going no, because you going told him to meet you at the rail yards. That's where you jumped him. How did you hide the body? No, what? You have an overly active imagination, young man. That was a bit man. too far. Do you have any proof of that allegation? Eh, uh, no, no, no. You're off the hook for now. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're off the hook. <laughs> ah, I'm going with truth. I'm going with truth. the usual, man. Well... Hey, we're good, we're good. He came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay, okay. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Mm. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Nah, you're all right. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But we need to find home. the dinner. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Cool. Let's go. Hold on, one last check. We see if the dinner still exists. Possibly. Hey, catch you later. Didn't even shut the door. Just left it lying wide open. Hey! Hey, whoa, 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 what the hell happened there? I don't know what that was. I'm not sure what I just witnessed. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. Stranger things have happened. Nah, man. He's faked his death, and he's ran off to Seattle with some butt called Nicole. We got it worked out already, Bukowski, my son. The pig carcass humped him right away. Soon as I saw that, I thought, this guy, this guy's done a runner. Plus, the, the specs in the wallet were just too convenient, man. Like, he should have at least tried to kind of look, make it look like he tried to hide them or something. But he just left them lying out in the open. Look for someone. Ah, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm in it for You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Loner in the back. Frank Is Morgan? All right, Paul. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh, wow, okay. You sound really broken up about it. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. But give me a second, pal. Give me a second. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Live hope purchased by F. Morgan. Yeah. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Yeah, called it. Called it. Where Wait, exactly? So is Black where is this prick? Tell me. No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Why? Lies, I lies, found and the more ticket, lies, son. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? 
Train ticket, bitch. Train ticket. It's going to be right. Hmm? Well, that's it for me, gentlemen. Over and out. What? Ah. Oh. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. I mate. And then bled like a goddamn giraffe. I don't know why that was the first thing I went to her, but yeah. You're lying, Morgan. You killed Black and hid the body. Where is it? Me? Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I hurt him. It's gonna be the bloody pipe. I don't think he did hurt him. I think they smacked a pig around and made that bleed. They, they killed a pig. So I don't know why he's gonna accuse him of actually killing the guy, because I don't think he did. Looks like I was mistaken. Do I go with doubt? I'm gonna use the intuition again, boys. I'm gonna go with doubt. Let's go with doubt. We have you for aiding and abetting. In a oh. Conspiracy. Do you want me to come up with some other charges, Morgan? <laughs> we bought a small hog and put it in the trunk. We got to the rail yard. I cut the pig's throat, drained the blood into a bucket. Splashed the blood all around the car. Adrian hit the pig a couple of times with the pipe to make the pipe look convincing. There we go. Doesn't Correct the case. Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. Right, well, where's the guy then? You That's the only thing we don't have. Tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Okay, I guess this is what we're going to do then. Right, well, we got two out of three, so we're going to tail this fucker now. Need to watch out for the spookometer. He sure left his drink in a hurry. Bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Right. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Ah, oh, we, we are, mate. Low profile as fuck. Look at it, we're only driving at two mile an hour. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, shit. He's taking off again. No, no, guy, don't stop. Fuck. We're being stealthy as fuck. Look at us. No one would see any risk at all. Shit. He just slammed on the brakes there for no reason. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? What if he's just gone up the road for a shite? Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You have fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour working traffic, didn't I? Hey, watch I'm just out, trying mate. to learn. Watch out. Back up. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Right. Let's get in now. Number two, once again. All right, let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Right, put this door open. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll this get guy's it. a real, a real brain oh, box, isn't shit. he? <laughs> it's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LA Running TV, away is not gonna make now. us think you're dead I now. knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember... Like, we're, you're already fucked, guy! What, what are you doing? Oh, don't There's end no up dying then, for real. He's gonna end up dying for real, man. If, Mr. If I'm Black, careful. get back here right now! Man tries to fake death, so we shoot him. <laughs> It's Where'd over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. There we go. With her, Black. Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. No, you're just being Adrian a stupid Black, bitch. Adrian Black, under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. You're a stupid bastard, Adrian. Well done. Get it up, ye. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique. I am the man. Good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Lovely. Cheers, boss. Tune in next week for The Consul's Car. This production has been brought to you by Potatoes. Eat your potatoes up, America. Grow up to be nice and strong. We may need you very soon.